So the first thing you want to do is paint your nails in black and let it dry completely. Dip your brush into the liquid and pick up a small to medium wet consistency ball. The reason I like to work with a little bit of a wet ball is that I can stretch it out and make a line. If it's too wet, it will run into the cuticles. Wipe your brush and with the belly of the brush, I'm going to press it outward, sort of creating a little fan. And then two other little fans towards me. Just going to use the belly of my brush to press them in. Wet your brush again and perfect your little S shape fan. Always remember to clean your brush. So picking up some more liquid, I'm now going to work on another smaller flower close to the cuticle, like the one you see on the middle finger right there. Place your bead and you're going to wait about 20 to 30 seconds for it to become matte. When the bead is nice and shiny, it's going to be very difficult to work with it, but if you wait a little bit until it gets matte, it's much easier to mold it. So I'm just pressing out one side of the bead and I'm leaving the other one nice and raised. Just flattening it out. And I'm going to pick up another small bead of pink and place it in the middle. And now I'm going to show you how to create this raised petal flower. Dip your brush into the liquid again and pick up a small pearl of pink. And place it onto your nail form. Working with these nail forms is really easy because it allows you to create very beautiful um, petals and it's also really, really easy to remove because of its shiny backing. I'm just creating my petal and I'm using the belly of the brush to press it down and flat and I'm keeping the tip in the center of the petal. I'm going to wet my brush again into the liquid monomer and I'm going to use it sort of as a knife to wedge it underneath the petal and just gently slide it under to loosen it up. Just nice and slowly. Once you pick the petal up, you can place it anywhere on the nail. And it will stick, you don't have to worry about using a base coat or anything like that because they're very thin so they will stick to any surface. And just kind of mold it around and push it into place. Our last step is to apply a small bead of yellow into the center of our flower. So go ahead and do that. Alright everyone, so once you have top coated, this is pretty much it for your design. Make sure you use about two coats of top coat and you are done. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you all in my next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing and commenting.